Hello everyone, I'm Little McGriddle, and yes, I'm going to bother you one last time with Doki Doki, because it was pointed out that when I, where I left the game off was not the end, and I, I kind of did know that because uh, I seen a friend play it, and it went further to, than I left it off at, and I watched it, and I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, of course, yeah, that's the end. What I did was not the end, so that's why we're here. This is gonna be the last video that I, I, I think so. I think this is gonna be the last video of Doki Doki that I'm gonna do, so let's get right into it. I don't wanna start a new game. Okay, well, I'm starting a new game. Fair enough. It's cool. It's alright. Sorry? Please stop playing with my heart. I don't want to come back. Sayori. Is that you? Please come back! I promise I won't play with your heart! It's another ordinary school day like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. I always tell myself, it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. Hey, Chelsea Lori! Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yay! <laughs> well, there already is one girl. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day, and recently we picked up that habit once again. Okay. I'm hearing things. Chelsea, are you proud of me? Eh? For what? You know, for waking up on time? Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you never even said anything about it. Even though we walk to school together every day. I don't know how we didn't notice that. But hey, she's waking up on time. And you know what? That's her and Beast. Because Monica's not here. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say aloud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine. Fine. I'm proud of you, Savory. <laughs> We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Chelsea, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not- I start to say what I always do, that I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me Sayori would take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time? When she's starting a club on her very own? Actually, yeah. Ooh! So she's the one that starts the club this time. Hell yeah. I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me. Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. Ooh. You meanie. Be patient. You'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I left myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize that in a way, I envy her. When Sayori puts up her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. Join the Literature Club. A school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stand up, gathering my motivation. Let's see. See what? I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. <laughs> Was it a flyer you saw? I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Uh, hello? Ah! Chelsea? W what are you doing here? Well, I just... Eh? I glance around the room. Oh. Hey, Natsuki. Huh, so you're the Chelsea that Savory is always talking about. Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Chelsea. We're in the literature club. Uh, I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri, no need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Ah, uh, sorry, Natsuki. The tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri, seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. W working? Chelsea, don't tell me. You're... 
That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. The literature club. Sayori's eyes lit up. Light up. No way. No way. Ah! <laughs> Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. <laughs> hey! <laughs> well, if Sayori is that happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. Uh, yes! Unless something happens. That means we can become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. <sighs> what an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah. After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise. Is it cupcakes? <laughs> Sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? I love tea. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Ah. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! Wow, those look amazing. <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. Siri grabs one first and I follow. It's delicious! Siri talks with a mouthful and she already had managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers looking for the best angle to take a bite. That Suki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro after all. You don't need to thank me or anything. Okay, all right. Take it down a notch, Natsuki. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. Do you keep a whole tea set in this closet? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. I, I don't like your eyes, I'm sorry. Just the last- I don't- uh. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Um questionable. Uh, I guess. <laughs> Already trying to impress our new member, Yuri? Uh, that, that, that's not insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. Oh, that is, that is true in real life. Because I just love tea. Is there anyone else out there that likes tea? Because if so, high five. Yeah, we're in this together. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Chelsea, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, uh, weirdly enough, I like manga. Uh, I, I'm into vampire books, apparently. <laughs> uh, comic books. I can't believe I said that out loud, but. You know, I went to Joy-Con, you've seen the highlights from like last year. I went to Joy-Con and uh, I got a, a few comic books. Cool. Uh, I like fantasy, like, which a lot of people do. Uh, I also like sci-fi. Okay, carrying on. Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. I do. Um, I do. Uh, manga. Oh, hell yeah. I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. <gasps> That's my favorite too! Oh my gosh! The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. 
She seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read much, okay? I'm certain we can find something that we have in common. Hey, Yuri. Huh? Well, about, you know, the first thing he said. Manga? That's right. And Suki tends to read manga in the club room. Don't just say it. For some reason, Nasuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is a literature too, you know? Oh, I know. Manga is awesome. I have a fairy tale manga. I haven't read it yet, but. Love fairy tale. So, if Chelsea wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Nasuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could also be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. You can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Chelsea? M maybe, sensing the tension Sayori jumps in, maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. And we'll all get to know each other a little bit better too. I mean, that's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? I don't disagree or anything. Yeah. You're right as usual, President. <laughs> I guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then as for Yuri... Eh? I have to read manga? Jeez, you were the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? Well, I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interest in it, Suki. If, if you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No, I have realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I, I mean, it makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you'll really like, okay? How about fairy tale? Okay? Just this just a suggestion. Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. Just just you? Uh would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so yeah, me too. This is so cute! See Ori, shut up. I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes, I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along, isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Chelsea. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around, Sayori. Oh, Chelsea, they say something like that. It's embarrassing. You're not still depressed, are you? You're not, you're not going to do the thing? No? Okay. Well, well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're going to make it the best club ever. Now that you joined, every day is going to be so much fun. Hey, Chelsea, I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. Eh. <laughs> There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of mmm. Hmm. Oh boy. Oh, she knows. Okay. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. Oh, jeez. Okay. I don't know why that scared me so much. That's right. I know everything that she did. Jesus, Sayori. Um... <laughs> uh, I thought the creepy shit was over. I, I know, uh, maybe it's because I'm the president now, but I really know everything, Chelsea. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad, but none of that matters anymore. Oh no, don't you dare. It's just us now, and you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you. Oh shit. Oh, here we go again. 
forever and ever. Ha. Ho. Earth. E. B. E. No. <laughs> just, just no. Okay, no. Ah. Oh, what is that? Oh, eh? What's happening? Oh my god, is that Monica? I won't let you hurt him. Oh, oh it hurts. Ah, I'm sorry. I was wrong. There is no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Chelsea. Goodbye, Literature Club. I got me okay. <laughs> All right then. Goodbye. What the? Oh, what? What? Uh, can you hear me? Oh shit! Yeah, hello. Mm. Hi, it's uh. me. Um, so you know how I've been like practicing piano and stuff? Um, yeah. Not really any good at it yet. Like, You'll get now. there. But I wrote you a song, and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because I worked really, really hard on it. Okay. So, yeah. Da 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 da. Huh? Playing? Oh, oh, oh. So good. You every day I imagine a future where I can be with you. Oh, that's so nice. In my hair is a pen that I'll write a poem of me and you. Oh, that's so cool. I like this. Being closed down into a dark puddle. Just move your hand right the way into his heart. But in this world of infinite choices, mm -hmm. what will it take just to find that special day? What will it take just to find a special day? That special day. Oh my god, that was really good. Oh, I like that. <laughs> found by found, everybody upon a sign and you do today. Oh, that's nice. When you're here, oh, what? I have to leave the image. Excuse me. Hey, Natsuki. You're removing the images. Why? Why, though? No, Yuri. Ah, Yuri. Ah, Yuri. No, don't remove the image. Bad Monica. Writing by Dan Salvato. A damn good job, Dan Salvato. Music, Dan Salvato. Again, a damn good job. The, the, the images are just disappearing. The vocals, Jillian Ashcraft. Good job, Jillian. Again, music, uh, pictures, special thanks. Good for those people. They did a really good job. If I take your is it locked, if I set you free Stop! Oh, oh so cute! Being closed down into a dark puddle How can I write love into reality? That's a nice picture, oh, okay uh, uh, that picture doesn't exist Huh? Special thanks, Monica, Chelsea that's me. Is that me, or is that just a coincidence? Is that just a coincidence, or is that me? Oh my god. Oh wow, that's awesome. Oh, 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 this is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand the Literature Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. Really. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. Yeah. 
for the time it lasts, and I want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true, and for being a friend to all of the club members, and most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club with everlasting love. Monica. Monica. Huh? Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Error script file is missing or corrupt. Please reinstall the game. Ooh, that is clever. Okay, well, I guess that's the end. I guess that's the end of Doki Doki Literature Club. <laughs> that was really good. I mean, I did see the end, but to actually experience uh, uh, on, on my own terms, it was, it was it was nice. It was pretty good. Uh, now I can say it, that this is the end of Doki Doki Literature Club. I really like this game. It was really awesome. I just, I, I love everything about it. I love the style and everything. The music, I actually, I absolutely love the music. Uh, I'm not gonna ramble anymore about the game, but um, I just thank you so much for watching this series and watching my playthrough of it, even though you've probably seen many playthroughs of it already. But if you've stayed until the very end, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you for watching, and if you did enjoy it, hit that button down below, and like always, I will catch you all in the next video. Stay awesome. Bye.